Yeah. OK, next tonight, the appeal for all city dwellers and townies to do their bit to help our wildlife thrive. The Wild Fowl and Wetlands Trust wants people to build their own tiny ponds, drain pipe wetlands and bog gardens in their backyards and on balconies. Let's hope that together we can help native creatures cope in soaring temperatures and reverse the UK's decline in biodiversity. Martha Fairley looks at how it could work. So I took the view that once they arrived, I wasn't going to let them leave. Yeah. I was just going to make it the kind of place where they would, you know, they would want to stay. For David Fielding, it all started with a frog that appeared in his garden in South London. His family built a small pool, spawning a series of little ponds, attracting a whole range of insects and amphibians. So how did you feel when you first saw you had newts in your Oh, garden? we were so excited. My daughter and I saw the flash of a tail and it came up for a little uh, breath of air and, uh, and after that we decided to take the pond thing very seriously. Now they have hundreds of frogs, toads and newts, proof that even the smallest space can become a thriving mini wetland habitat. Even if it is a bowl pond or a mini pond or a wetland or, or whatever you create, it's going to get so hot this summer. Nature needs a hand and this is a lovely way to do it. The London Wetlands Centre has a vast network of lakes, pools and gardens, but they also use drain pipes to feed small urban ponds. Now the Wild Fowl and Wetlands Trust are encouraging everyone to build tiny ponds, bog gardens and mini drain pipe wetlands to reverse low levels of biodiversity in cities. But you don't need anything on this grand scale if you haven't got the space and I know I certainly don't have the space in my garden so all it needs is something like a, a plastic crate. They want to create 100,000 hectares of wetlands by 2050. Wetlands can help uh, reduce coastal and, and flood erosion, they can reduce the impact of flooding and build flood resilience. They're also incredible uh, carbon stores as well. But when we're focusing on the urban context, we're looking at small scale interventions that do bring um, wildlife into the garden. It may seem like a drop in the ocean, but a small pond really can bring big benefits to nature. Martha Fairley, ITV News.